live doesn't mean you're alive. I want to feel accomplished and be something. I want to conquer. I want to conquer my demons. <laughs> I want I want to conquer life, do amazing things and then just be everything that I can be. I want to prosper and achieve and reach fulfillment and finally be happy. I think everyone should see it in themselves to aim high, dream high and then achieve. Work hard to achieve and always believe in yourself. Because you only get one life so you might as well live it. I want to succeed in sixth form and get my A levels and then I want a gap year of travelling. I'd love to go to South Africa because that's where my grandma like was born and then she moved over here. And then um, go to uni and study midwifery or child nurse. But what I would like my dream is to live abroad like with a nice foreign bloke and have kids and not be rich like stuck up people but not be poor. I think people should change the way they view disabled people because like they call them like spas and retards and that's like not nice because if they were like that they wouldn't appreciate people calling them stuff because there's nothing wrong with them like they can't help the way they are it's something that happened at birth so I'd like people to like respect them and treat them how they want to be treated. The future is dull, boring and grey, same as now. Huge technology advances. Planet of the Apes. In the future, everything's going to go fast, really fast. It'll be like I'm in slow motion. Rebirth. future is being a taxi driver, eating loads of crisps and energy drink, being a mansion with a nice car, a Porsche or a BMW, a soft top, because when it's really, really, really hot, you could just pull down the roof and get a load of breathing in your face. Have four kids, and a nice wife, Be living in Jamaica, happy. Basically, when we die, you know, a lot of people don't know what's, you know, gonna happen. Do you know if you're just gonna lie there, like out of body experiences, as some people say, or is it gonna be like you'd be there standing on your grave thinking, "Well, is everybody sad?" And you know, I'm just standing there, but they can't see you. So you like you try to tell them, you know, like my mirror right in front of you, but then you look in like your grave and it says your name and date and everything. You're like you're in between like one bit, as in like you know you look you look for one of your eyes and you see everything normal, but then for the other eye you see it differently, and your body's trying to convince itself which one's real, which one isn't. In the future, I see a state of war, countries at war, civil wars, and there being a very big divide of rich and poor. In five years time I see myself in the army which then makes it more of a personal issue and I see it being the rich are safe and everyone else is left to fend for themselves. The government's gone bust or just don't really care. Future as it is, it needs to get worse before it can get better, before people start to realise what they need to do. Hopefully in the end the world in, in itself will be a more positive place and uh, I also see myself in hopefully around 10 years running a carpentry and joinery business which then hopefully in charge of apprentices and things like that. Hopefully I'll have family and kids one day. But yeah hopefully it'll be a positive one. 
I don't know where I'll be in five or ten years time but I'm just gonna try and be true to myself and keep positive. I try and stay true to myself because life's too short to pretend to be someone or not and I don't want people to like me for that. I don't think people should try and be Mr. Popular or cool and follow the crowd and do things they don't want to do. It's almost immature. And if you try and be the best person you can be, I think people will like people more for that. And also, when you feel anger or hate or resentment or think negative thoughts, ask yourself, is this helping you? If the answer is no, then why hold on to it? This is only a small change, but it will make a big difference. And they're the people I want to be with. I'd also like people to accept other people's views and respect their opinions, not necessarily agreeing with them, but not discriminating if someone for what they want to wear or what they look like. And this is also a very small change, but if everyone thought like this, it would make a big difference to the world, and that's where I'd rather live. I reckon it should be free transport, you because it's too dirty to go to school. Because the won't make it cheaper or free. So then we're getting excluded and then we're kicking off, getting arrested, ending up in police cells, and then we can't do nothing, cut off the school either because it's too much, and then we're end up smashing up the buses, trains, like that, and then we'll just be in jail sometime. It would be so much better, the police cells would be so much emptier, because then there won't be so many burglaries for money. It'd be so much calmer, I won't be in jail in the long term and I won't be getting in fights, I won't be kicking off and I won't do wrong, I won't be robbing for money, stuff like that. I would go to school on time, I would actually do what I was told to do and I would obey the law. When I'm Prime Minister, I want more places for kids to go and I I want more money given to the schools and the families that struggle with money. I want the war to stop so I reckon you should vote for me because I won't rob your money like Gordon Brown and the other one because they're just idiots and, and I will keep the money in a safe place. Well when I'm Prime Minister I'm instead of having money for myself I'm gonna go around to schools and donate money to um, schools that are less fortunate than other schools. Uh, I'm going to visit homeless people and get them more refuges with more food to go to and I reckon um, I should just be Prime Minister. I'm getting married with an, my lovely husband and I'm going to have a kid and they're going to be beautiful and then I'll take them to the park and I have a dog whose name is going to be called Fudge and I think I'll go shopping in New Look um, hopefully I do have a grandchild um, take them to the park take them to the beach cinema and even Valley Country Park and I wear like I, may, I might wear a long skirt and I might wear old lady shoes like that, like old lady gaps and that and I would, like some shoes what like our old lady. Mm. Happy, 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 happy. In my future I'd like to build my own house, a big house. It'd have pretty flowers, lots of land and lots of bedrooms. And in that house, Mia would live with me, my dog. We'd have horses, we'd have piglets. I'd also like to have a big family as well. They'd also live in this big giant house with lots of play area, swings and things like that. I would also like to be a model. I'd like to be a model because it builds that self-confidence. You also get to travel around and see new things and gain new experiences that you wouldn't be able to gain otherwise. I'd like to start believing in myself. 
and knowing that the choices that I make, if they might not be the right choices, but you never live regrets. You always live to the future and you can always learn from your mistakes. You need to live life to the full. Yeah, you cheated, why'd you do it? Girl, I loved you, there's nothing to it But you cheated, how could you do it? My heart bleeds 24-7 I know you with him, with your cheeky little grin My heart was ripped out, crushed You knew we were talking about a kid I was going through that Our love was like a rose, it grew, then it died I was hoping you would come back to me in my eyes I wake up thinking, should I blast myself? But you're not worth it, I'll get over it You're okay